Singapore is on the verge of possibly banning boba because of its nutritional value. David, what does this mean for boba worldwide? Too many kids, la. too much sugar, getting fat, la. ban it. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to talk about this. And it's not really that they're going to ban boba, but it's possible that because of boba's high sugar content and lack of nutritional value, they are possibly going to ban advertisements of boba all across Singapore. Right, which could obviously heavily, heavily impact the profitability of boba chains. Andrew, it, uh, what, what's going on? We ought to talk about the introduction of the Nutri-Grade system because I think a lot of other countries, Andrew, they might implement something like this in the future. But we, as we know, Singapore, they like to control and they're kind of like a strict parent. Yeah, so basically the Ministry of Health in Singapore has added this Nutri-Grade label to all packaged drinks. Okay, not to food yet, but just drinks because drinks, you can use, it's easier to count the calories and all that stuff but they're gonna put boba underneath this even though boba is technically a fresh made drink right right but they are because boba is so popular and it is very high in calories so they're judging it so the need for these measures the reason why they started the nutri-grade label and i will read it from the ministry of health website Diabetes is a serious health concern in Singapore. The number of Singapore residents with diabetes is projected to reach 1 million by 2050 if nothing is done. In response to the significant health and societal burden posed by diabetes, the Ministry of Health launched the War on Diabetes in 2016. Bro, they launched a war on diabetes. It's capital war on diabetes. To mobilize a whole of society effort to tackle the disease. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so I guess there's a diabetes issue in Singapore. And I do think I heard that uh, because so many Asians do like a lot of sugary drinks across Asia, that diabetes is possibly on the rise. Guys, so this is not just a Singapore thing. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Andrew, you know what is not bad for you, though? I've taken a look at the macros. <laughs> it doesn't have too much sugar, that's for sure, guys. Check out Smala Sauce. It's a great finishing oil. It is an oil. It is tasty, but, uh, you know, not supposed to chug it. All right, anyways, check it out. Um, Andrew, you can get a grade. You either get the A, a, a B, a C, but once you get to D level, you're not allowed to advertise at all. Okay, so so David, if you get a neutral grade of D, which is pretty low, you still can sell your product, but you just can't advertise it, yes, right? Yes, and a lot of people are saying that boba, especially the, the vast majority of boba will fit into the D category. Wow, I mean, especially the milk, brown sugar with boba and the Oreo topping, all these, I mean, look at all these drinks. I bro. mean, honestly, a lot of the packaged drinks actually get a C, like Rabena, which is a very popular drink overseas, sure. you know, like a- No, I'm sure VLT or, you know- Probably I, get a C. Yeah, maybe Capri Sun if they sold it out there before, because Capri Sun started knocking down the sugar. But I don't know why, guys, there's, there's a lot of obviously sweet and sugary drinks out there that have- actual complex like high fructose corn syrup and stuff. does this seem like something that other governments should adopt because it a lot of people are saying that the drink situation is just getting out of hand right now Damn. because a while what all right first of all fast food it is bad for you too right but you there's a limit to how much volume you can fit in your stomach of actual food right. there is no limit to the amount of heavily refined fructose or carbohydrate heavy drinks yeah you can I, I think it's dangerous when you replace your water intake with essentially sugary drinks. Obviously, I still have some sugary drinks, but you know, I definitely do watch it. David, is it important to note that the neutral grade, it goes A is 0% sugar, B is 4%, C is 8%, D is 12%. It's crazy that they're just basing it on sugar and nothing else, but I guess sugar is the main culprit. So anyways, guys, uh, those are the details behind it. Um, but yeah, I guess we got to go through the comment section because I guess this is could be worrisome to a lot of... Uh, Boba drinkers worldwide. Yeah. I mean, I do think recently I've seen a lot of articles come out and target boba drinkers. Mm. Like, as it's crazy, Andrew, because there's like 50 global chains right now. Boba is as popular as it's ever been, but I almost want to say the amount of hit pieces that maybe are not just hit pieces, they're legitimate criticisms of the nutrient macro value of boba have also increased simultaneously. Wow, wow, wow. Somebody said, I think of it like a sodi pop. I wouldn't want it as part of my daily routine, but once in a while, it's probably fine and to be honest good for my soul i usually have one per week but sometimes i have two yeah i think two a week is fair i mean depending on what else you eat during that week for sure two a week should be good but a lot of people were pointing out that two a week depending on what size you get do you get the cookie crumble do you get the cheese foam are you getting additional toppings are you getting so, extra boba and we are talking about a large one potentially getting up to 
800 calories. Wow. So, so do you think because you know how you can lower the sugar, David, on like by choice? Do you think that some chains in Singapore at their Singapore stores will lower the sugar already out of 50% to kind of put it in that C level? Yes, they are trying to get to the C level because, Andrew, like you said, they want to be able to advertise their right. products. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think that. Um, you know, a lot of places we're talking about how, especially the new trend, Andrew, and this has been a trend for a few years now, is coating the pearls in syrup or coating the pearls in honey, uh, uh, honey brown sugar. Uh, this is my drooling emoji face. Uh. So some people were saying that at the very baseline, one boba ball, Andrew, has seven calories. But on the high end, depending on how large it is and what it's been soaked in, it could start to reach in 2023 because everybody likes the better flavors. 20 calories of boba ball. Dude, the brown sugar marinated boba is so good. Yo. But you know, even for me, when I get boba, and I don't get boba every time I get a boba drink, uh, as far as the pearls, I ask for like a third of the scoop. I literally do. I oh, say right, a third of the pearls. I say, right? let me, can I just get a little bit? Or, let me get like 10 pearls. <laughs> Somebody said, usually the sugar percentage of added sugar is fructose on top of the base fruit jam. <sighs> that means when you get zero sugar, it's no added sugar, but you will still get sweetened by the toppings or any fruit jam flavorings where they cannot adjust that one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, there are. I'm always bummed when there's times when they're like, sorry, we use fruit jam, so we can't uh, give you less sugar unless you want less flavor. Somebody said that the bobas, both the pearls and the fructose corn soup syrup are absolutely awful for your digestive system. Apparently, mm. it, it is hard for your digestive system to break mm. down, but obviously there was some arguing about tapioca. Right, it's obviously right, right. made out of cassava root, guys. We made a whole song about it back in the day. Um, <laughs> but everybody's like has different formulations now, but it's still cassava root at the end of the day. Um, this is the chat GPT answer. The tea in the milk inside of a boba can be a tea by itself can be the healthy beverage choice as it contains antioxidants and other beneficial compounds. Milk provides calcium and other nutrients. However, if you have any specific dietary restrictions or intolerances, it's important to consider the type of milk used in your favorite boba milk tea. And then, of course, the tapioca pearls themselves are made from starch. While they do not add any significant nutritional value, they do contribute calories and carbohydrates to the beverage. However, the impact on overall health would depend on the quantity consumed again that's your chat gpt answer again yeah i mean i i but you know what's, what's always funny about boba david so many asians say they're lactose intolerant but so many asians love boba so how does that even work most of the bobas originally from taiwan are non-dairy right. they use a non-dairy creamer and mm. it's partially because asians are lactose but uh it's also because just fresh milk was hard. At, a, at the tier that you can find in America is difficult to secure in Taiwan. Right, it's right, more expensive. Right. So actually the American fresh milk boba is maybe like the worst for Asians because you're getting all this milk and you, if you're possibly lactose intolerant and then all the sugar. But then you get the calcium. Okay. I guess sort of like pros and cons. I guess, right? yeah. Um, ultimately, Andrew, do you drink boba right now? I do once in a while, but I usually get 50% sugar and I definitely get less pearls if I even get pearls. But you know, I'm I'm a fruit tea guy. I'm I, a fruit tea guy yeah. at 50% sugar. All right, I'll tell you this, man. I am a sucker for seasonal flavors. If yeah. People, like, because I'm just like, yo, I've never seen that one. Because I remember for a while, boba stayed the same for like 10 years. And I want to say over the past five years, it's just started changing yo, every season. Yo, I'm like, look at it. I'm like, man, you got flavors from all uh, across the world. What about this, David? What about this? A movement to share your boba. Just like Asians share their food, share your boba. So get a boba, enjoy it, but just share it and just split it with someone for like half or 30%, you know? So you're just not consuming the entire Ooh, thing. Nobody's invented a boba straw that splits in the, yeah. uh, has a fork split. Oh yeah, a little, a two prong boba or just smaller bobas. I don't know if that's worth it to make because you know, it would have to be handmade for a smaller amount with a right, slower price. Right, because you're increasing the labor now for but, smaller bottles. But but maybe, you know, I'm just saying, like, maybe there's someone out there that's going to be serving, like, a six-ounce boba. What do you think about high-protein boba mixes where, yes, you're still getting the caloric intake, but at least you're hitting your protein macros for uh, more, uh, you know, other yeah, nutritional yeah. value beyond the... Pro I just don't think, like... 
I do. I see the logic in that, but I just don't think people who are drinking boba like you. They don't care about protein. In a way, I wouldn't drink boba and try to pack it with protein. I'd rather pack my coffee with protein rather than my boba. I think my boba, I just want to enjoy it as a decadent dessert. Right, because you're saying it, it always was a dessert drink. Yeah. Well, coffee was always a... It could have been both, right? If you got the double hey. mocha frappuccino from Starbucks, it was more of a dessert drink, but you could just get the cold brew. Fit boba. You know how there was fit tea? Fit boba. Yeah. Uh, high protein pearls. What if What if instead of just making it out of starch, you could get some protein value for your as a trade-off for if the caloric content? you can, if you can make them just as tasty, sure. Sugar-free bobas. Boba Zero and a new multinational chain that, you know, playing off Coke Zero using artificial sweeteners, possibly monk fruit. Obviously, it'd have to be more expensive, but cuts the calories by half or more. Yeah, I think, I do think... More and more boba shops will offer a low sugar, if not zero sugar option. But I don't know how you get a zero sugar milk substitute. Does that exist? Does zero sugar milk? Um, crystal bobas as substitute for the brown cassava root starch bobas. Uh, obviously, in fruit teas, it's true that the crystal bobas already taste better to this day. Um... Okay, so sorry, I just looked it up. There is such thing as zero sugar whole milk. It's zero added sugars. So I don't know what that means. I mean, there's still calories in it. but Ultimately, anyways. Andrew, what is your prediction? Singapore is taking a step towards banning boba. Obviously, it won't actually be banned because a lot of people in Singapore love it. It's an Asian country. However, they might ban the advertisement of at least the most sugary ones. Yeah, man, I don't know. So, uh, so basically, you're one, Andrew, with the chocolate Oreo on top or the potted milk tea with the sea foam and the cheese foam. You won't be able to see that on a billboard anymore in Singapore because they're going to ban it. Guys, I'm just going to tell you this now. This is for anybody who's thinking about moving to Singapore or like Singapore or lives in Singapore right now. I just know that when Singapore says they don't want something in their country, it doesn't exist in their country. It's a so, very strict parent. They, you don't want drugs? War on drugs? Boom. No drugs. Or at least it's very, very, very hard, you know, I guess to find. Well, the but, punishments are yeah, insane. Yeah. So if they don't want diabetes and they don't want sugary drinks, Singapore is going to make it happen. I just, that's an authoritative, strict parent nanny state government, which has some upside. It has a lot of great things right, about it. You can it. go jogging at 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and listen, not worried about listen, anything I'm, I'm saying it's you. a beautiful country for many reasons, but that is the downside. So I think Singapore is going to make it happen. It's crazy. It's crazy to say. Hey, Amen. So I don't, I don't know if it's going to send a ripple effect. In America, there's way too much freedoms, but I do think that people are going to start thinking in the next five, ten years about a healthier boba. I, I'd like to see a new nutri grade label, Andrew, on all packaged foods. Wow. Well, what if they start putting? Can they put a nutri grade label on the hawker stalls? Oh my God, on the chicken rice. That, no, I think chicken rice would have good macros. Probably would be a B for food yeah, because food the rice, can't. The rice is a little food can't be like zero carb, zero sugar. Like you know, I don't know. Just the chicken itself might be an A though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Steam chicken for sure. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments down below. Does this scare you? Would you do you agree with Singapore? Is Singapore too strict on this on too on too strict on Boba? Or is this just seem kind of logical? So, yeah. hey, listen, guys, when the populace cannot make the proper decisions for themselves, sometimes somebody needs to come in. But of course, everybody has different ideals. How much do you balance? What are you willing to give up the give and take of everything? Uh, let us know what you guys think of this in the comments section below. Until next time, with the Hot Pot Boys, we out. Peace.